Okay, I'm pretty sure I've had this shot in every single one of my videos so far, so if you guys get sick of it, just leave a comment down below. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Thursday and it's actually technically a race week, but uh, I've kind of discovered that every weekend is basically going to be a race weekend uh, going forward. So if I do a race week for every single race weekend, my whole channel is just gonna be called race week and then race day. So I'm just gonna call the videos like random stuff, whatever they are today. We're gonna go ride a mountain bike trail to my backyard basically. So about 10 minutes away, a little drive. I don't really feel like riding on the road to get to the trail today also because it gets dark so quick. But quick little mountain bike shred, nothing too major. Should be pretty sweet. Holy shit. Back wheel is officially just a slick of mud. And people say mountain bikers destroy the trails. It's all the cows, man. Go vegan. All right guys, we just got to the top of the single track climb. It's just incredible. Mountain biking is one of the only places you can get this level of quiet in like an urban area. So definitely super cool. The whole trail has just been lined with this really juicy poison oak, which is like, if you touch that, you're gonna get a rash no matter what. Um, damn, I'm just, I'm being taken away by this view out here. You can see all the way out to Martinez. That's really awesome. About to drop into the single track right now. I've got essentially negative grip front and rear and playing a game of hot lava with the poison oak. Should be pretty lit. Don't really know where I am right now. There's Mount Diablo in the background see some videos up there in the future the bike is crying to me it is just covered in mud there's basically no grip anymore I'm sliding all over the place there's poison oak everywhere on all the single track but yeah I'm just chilling with my boys Donald and Arby they're out here munching carving up um, but yeah it's just like what is going on down here but you know what we're out here having a good time so I'm gonna figure out where I am. I'm probably gonna to have to go up some more, but at least it is gorgeous out here. I'll see you in a sec. Don't be giving me that look. Okay, so the trails were basically unrideable. All the fire roads were just completely destroyed by cattle tracks and water. So riding through them just caked up my bike and it probably weighed like 35, 40 pounds at one point. Yeah, so definitely not the best ride. I'm gonna go home and show you guys how to remove poison oak because I definitely hit a little bit of it. And yeah, get something hot to drink because it's pretty cold. I'm pretty sure that all this grass, all these weeds that grow in my garden are from washing my bikes right here because they don't grow anywhere else in my neighborhood. Oh. All right, nips, are the nips good? There's no nip slippage, okay. Okay guys, so we're back in the garage now. Um, the bike is cleaned off, it was just crazy the amount of mud that was out there today. It got to a certain point at the end of the ride where the back wheel wouldn't spin through the frame because there was just so much mud stuck on either side. It would just like spin and get stuck. 
So it's just, oh, and it's just this clay-like mud that won't let go of your bike once it gets on there. So that was a little bit frustrating, but you know, that's just the different trail conditions and I'm happy that it's wet rather than uh, really dry out like California usually is. Uh, I told you guys in the parking lot that I would show you how to remove poison oak oils because I'm a person who, if it gets on me, I usually get a pretty bad rash and I try to avoid that at all costs. And there's just so much of it on the side of the single track, I know some of it hit me. So uh, if you can bear with me for just one second with the cyclist body type, um, I'll show you my top trick here. Uh, poison oak oil, or urosol oil, whatever it's called, uh, it's an oil. So when it gets onto your skin, it's really hard to remove it unless you have a powerful, almost a de degreaser type of uh, soap. So what I like to do is, and this is, it might sound crazy to some people, but I get some bike grease, and this is like your generic stuff. I put a little bit on my finger, not a lot, like barely anything. And I'll go to the affected area, so I know some of it probably hit me right here. I was wearing a mid-sleeve type of uh, mountain bike shirt. So I'll just put a little bit on my arm. And then with some Simple Green, this is their hand cleaner, but basically any degreaser, like a uh, dish soap will work really well. Um, Real, it's got some scrubbing type of sand that like bits in it. And then you're just focusing on removing that grease. And you know that once you remove, remove that grease that you put on your arm, any oil like, like urosol oil, poison oak oil that will be next to that grease will be removed along with it. So I like to like really use a lot of friction. Friction is what removes the oil, not water or soapy water, or whatever. It's the friction that actually removes it. So you get it really good on your arm. And you don't even need water to remove poison oak. So don't bother with like taking a long shower or anything. It's just important that you get rid of it as quickly as possible. Take a clean wash rag and then just scrub. It's the friction that's the most important thing when you're removing the poison oak oil. And then uh, once it's gone, uh, you'll notice that the bite grease is also gone and you, you know, uh, you, know I, you got all the, all the poison oak oil. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this and you want to see more related to cycling, fitness, and nutrition, remember to hit that subscribe box down below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.